Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Today we're going to go over how to draw Drake, a uh, caricature of Drake. And um, we're going to be using this uh, Copic marker, really. Any marker. You can even use a Sharpie. Just use any marker with a tip on it, and that should be good. And I'm also going to be using a colored pencil. The colored pencil is to kind of get my under... Well, just a regular pencil, let's say. Just to use the for the under sketch. And uh, I'll tell you guys what that is. I did another caricature of Drake, I think, on my other channel. I'll, I'll link it if I find it. So... Let's kind of go over really quick. Uh, this is like a park sketch. Remember, a park sketch would be like as if somebody just came in and you draw them, uh, like I said, as if, you know, like they're customers. You know what I mean? So this isn't going to be like one of those caricatures where you are getting all tons of different references from different angles and you spend hours on it. This is going to be a fast uh, caricature and impression. Uh, but you can do under sketches in these, you know, park sketches. So uh, my under sketch, if I just look at his face really quick. Uh, he has a very big kind of smile, cheeks there. I'm going to exaggerate that a little bit. Most is going to be about the teeth. His eyes are squinting. And that's pretty much it. My That's my under sketch. It's a very, very fast, just scribbly mess. You know, again, you're doing this from life. Very fast to just get a vague idea of the proportions that you're about to put in. And that's it. Very quick. You know what I mean? And it also creates a framework for you to feel safe so things won't be too weird or too crooked. So I'm going to start with his eye. Squinting. I'm going to draw the inside of that eye. A little bit of uh, for the uh, highlight. Draw a little bit of the eyelid. I'm gonna draw the other squinting eye over here. Uh, you know, one of the biggest things with characters is that you're trying to think of like what makes that person unique. You know what I mean? What makes that person different from the next person? His lower lids are pretty big. That space between his eyes is pretty large, or his nose. Uh, also, I'm going to give him pretty big uh, eyebrows. I don't, I don't know if they're so much bushy as they are... I don't know how to say, it looks like a single texture. So, I'm going to draw it as a square and fill it in with lines. Because I, I still feel like I can kind of see through them into his skin. Make sure you use this marker in ventilated area. Somebody told me it's very bad and dangerous for your health. I'm going to take care of the top of his head. And he has kind of like this, like his hair starting to grow out a little bit, kind of like mild fro. He doesn't have a usual uh, shaved head look like he normally has. Uh, going down, I'm going to check out his nose here. He has a square. If you look at the center portion of his nose, it's pretty square toward the bottom. It's not really rounded off. Uh, also, the wings of his nostrils are actually pretty square in themselves. A little bit of crow's feet, not so much. Uh, looking at the lines of his mouth uh, from the front like you know the corner of his nose to his mouth trying to pull that open very distinct shape to his upper lip as he smiles to that opening
Coming down to his teeth. Pulling that teeth down. Here's a huge distinctive thing with him. Uh, when he smiles, you can see a lot of gum. So I'm going to exaggerate that gum. Uh, I see kind of some space over here on the side, so I'm going to fill that in. Get some fatty pads right here as he, you know, like two fat pads on his lower, as his lower lip. Uh, bottom teeth. I'm going to go up here. Fill that in. I'm going to get the rest of his face shape. Pull that around. Get his ear over here. Oh, he does kind of a wide ear, but I'm going to keep it like that. Pull his hairline down into his goatee. I got to throw his facial hair that he has in here. People have such an issue with facial hair. I would just kind of squint and see where you see the most of it. He is, uh, sometimes you're going to have to even it out, you know what I mean? Because some people just have it, uh, you know, in strange ways. So you're going to have to even it out sometimes. Dang, it's all up in his cheek here. All right. I'm gonna pull his uh, neck over here. Wearing some kind of suit. Just kind of give him a collared collar thing right there. Uh, and then essentially um, you could either fill this in or you can do what I'm about to do right now as a shortcut And I'm kind of just pulling thin lines, making them directional. Just kind of making them the direction of the face. Part of the ear over there. Wham. Adam's apple. He's got one like one line on his head here. That's pretty much it. That would be again like a park sketch of uh, Drake, pretty much. It's a park sketch. First impression, you know, like I said, specifically his the gum line here. The gum is such a big deal. I could even push those teeth closer together actually and pull them longer you know what I mean? it looks like a soda can shoved in there um, but anyways that's it that's one park sketch of uh, Drake thanks a lot guys I really do appreciate you watching uh, check out my patreon check out the armadillo pencil case there are pencil cases that we sell I'll talk to you about that really quick right now because it's the end
but there are these pencil cases that we sell. Sorry about this one. This one's kind of dirty because it's mine and it's kind of used up. But you essentially can, you know, put your marker in one. I believe marker can fit on one side, and then the rest are for, uh, you know, pens and pencils, and you can kind of attach them to your arm. It's a really handy. This one, for some reason, this one does not fit in there, which is not going to do for me. But uh, <laughs> anyways, this marker is huge. But uh, like I said, that uh, you know, check this out. This is something that we sell. We've been selling them for years. Uh, it, it is a top selling item, so check it out. I'll put the link at the very end. Uh, anyways, thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate everything you do for this channel. Uh, give me some comments, guys, please. Uh, give me some questions. Give me more people you wanted me to caricature. I will make an attempt to do that. I'll do more park sketch. Like I said, I'm more of a park sketch guy. So, talk to you guys later. See ya. Yeah.